The Reason Rally, arguably the largest gathering of non-believers Washington, D.C. has ever seen. Atheists, secularists and humanists in one place, certain that God did not create the world in seven days and isn't looking down on them now. Humanity doesn't need gods. It doesn't need superstition. It doesn't need the lack of rationality and reason that is currently so popular, particularly in American politics. God crops up a lot in U.S. politics, especially in a presidential election year. Americans believe in God. God's law, which says... Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you. Constant references like that irk people attending this rally. Every day, millions of American schoolchildren recite the Pledge of Allegiance in class. It goes, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. But this is a group of Americans that's saying, look, we don't happen to believe in a deity, but you need to take our views just as seriously. How did you get the number 6,000 years? We, you can study Anna Lucius, who wasn't a believer in Christ. On the fringes of the rally, devout Christians position themselves to fight the good fight. But from the stage, speaker after speaker urged the crowd to spread the gospel of science over the supernatural. That's all we want, is we want them to start thinking. If they think, they will come to, I believe, the right conclusion. If they have any, any trace of rationality in their minds. Several people in the crowd said standing shoulder to shoulder with so many who hold similar views was a liberating experience. I don't think there's anywhere else in the world where atheists would be able to get together like this in this magnitude without being persecuted or having some kind of fear. We all need to work together whether you believe in a God, whether you don't believe in a God. Know that we have the same rights that you have and we, all that we ask is that you know we respect you and you respect us. The event was well attended, but the crowd was smaller than anticipated because of the rain. Rain you can bet no one here had been praying for. John Terrett, Al Jazeera, Washington. While most people in the United States say they are religious, according to the American Religious Identification Survey, 76% of Americans define themselves as Christian. 67% of U.S. voters say it's important for a presidential candidate to have strong religious beliefs. And 19% say that they would be less likely to vote for a candidate with a religious belief different from their own.